As the wedding preparations unfolded smoothly, Victor and Queen's excitement grew. They eagerly anticipated the day when they would officially become husband and wife, surrounded by their loved ones and blessed by the union of their families. Once upon a time, in the beautiful city of Abuja in Nigeria, there lived a lovely young girl named Queen. She was 20 years old and studying in her third year at the university. Queen was not just beautiful, she was also incredibly smart and kind-hearted. Her parents, Chief Omego and Charity, adored her dearly. Chief Omego was a very successful businessman, owning many companies in Nigeria, while Charity was a supportive wife and also a businesswoman. Queen's home was always filled with love and laughter. Her parents believed in her and encouraged her to excel in her studies. In school, Queen was known as one of the best students in her department. She was admired not just for her beauty, but also for her intelligence and hard work. Queen's parents were proud of her accomplishments and always supported her in every way they could. In the same university, there was a young man named Victor. He was 22 years old and a leader of a music band. Victor was also a serious student, determined to succeed in life. He had been raised by his mother, Uduak, who was a single parent. Victor had a deep love for his mother and was working hard to ensure he could take care of her in the future. Queen had secretly admired Victor from afar. She found his dedication and talent inspiring. Victor, being popular due to his music talents, had many admirers among the girls in school. However, he remained focused on his studies and his passion for music, paying little attention to romantic interests. Queen's feelings for Victor were kept hidden as she didn't want to disrupt their friendship or distract him from his goals. She admired his determination and respected his focus on his studies and music. As Queen and Victor continued their respective journeys in school, their paths often crossed. Queen would attend Victor's music concerts to support him, and they would exchange friendly greetings afterward. Their interactions were filled with mutual respect and admiration for each other's talents and aspirations. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. One day, there was a much-anticipated music concert in their school auditorium, and Victor, with his band, was set to perform. Queen, excited to support her crush, bought a ticket for the event. As the show started, the auditorium filled with lively music and cheers. Victor's performance was electrifying, and everyone was vibing and dancing to his songs. Among the crowd, Victor caught sight of Queen, dancing gracefully to the music. After the concert, he made his way over to where Queen was seated. Hi, I'm Victor, he said with a warm smile, extending his hand. Queen, feeling a mix of excitement and happiness, shook his hand and introduced herself. They exchanged pleasantries and chatted for a while, discovering common interests and shared passions. Victor found Queen's intelligence and kindness captivating. Why Queen admired Victor's dedication to his music and his caring nature. From that day on, Queen and Victor became inseparable. They spent time together, studying in the library, attending night classes, and hanging out during breaks. Their friendship blossomed into a deep connection, built on trust and understanding. As they spent more time together, Queen and Victor realized that their feeling for each other ran deeper than just friendship. They confessed to each other that they had been secretly crushing on each other for a very long time, both excited and nervous. They agreed to take their relationship to the next level and start dating officially. However, 
queen and victor made a heartfelt promise to each other they vowed to never engage in intimate activities until they were married this decision reflected their values and belief emphasizing the importance of respect commitment and patience in their relationship their love story was unique and special queen and victor supported each other's dreams and ambitions encouraging one another every step of the way their bond grew stronger with each passing day filled with laughter shared moments and unwavering love as their journey continued queen and victor faced challenges and obstacles together but their love and dedication to each other remained unshakable as time passed queen and victor's love continued to grow filling their days with happiness and contentment they celebrated each milestones together supporting each other's dreams and aspirations after two years of dedication and hard work they both graduated from the university with flying colors however their journey took an unexpected turn as they were posted to different states for their one-year youth service queen received her posting to lagos while victor found himself in abuja despite the distance they remained deeply connected sharing their experiences through frequent calls and messages queen missed victor dearly longing for his presence by her side she found solace in their memories and the promise of a future together meanwhile victor was determined to find a way to be closer to queen through perseverance and some efforts he managed to secure a transfer to lagos where queen was serving their joy knew no bounds as they were reunited once again now serving in the same local government area in lagos queen and victor made the most of their time together they explored the vibrant city tried new cuisines and enjoyed each other's company immensely their bond grew stronger with every passing day solidifying their love and commitment to each other as their youth service came to an end queen and victor faced new decisions and challenges queen returned home to abuja where her family welcomed her with open arms and heart full of pride her father chief omigo had already made plans for the future suggesting that she work in his company for a while before pursuing her master degrees abroad on the other hand victor was offered a promising job opportunity at a tech company in lagos thanks to a connection through his mother's friend from their church while the job was exciting and promising it meant that victor would have to stay in lagos potentially being separated from queen once again the thought of being apart troubled queen deeply she cherished her time with victor and feared that distance might strain their relationship victor sensing queen's concerns reassured her of his love and commitment he promised her that his job in lagos was just temporarily and that after six months his company would transfer him back to their head office in abuja although hesitant queen agreed to give victor six months to fulfill his work commitments in lagos however she insisted that victor visit her parents at least once during their time she promised to talk to her mother charity about their relationship and victor also agreed to discuss it with his mother Udwak as well the uncertainty of the future lingered in the hearts but queen and victor were determined to overcome any obstacles together their love had endured challenges before and they believed that with patience understanding and trust they could conquer whatever that lay ahead when queen returned home from work that evening her mood was somber she couldn't shake off the thought of victor leaving for lagos that weekend to resume work the following monday sensing her daughter's distress charity queen's mother inquired about her troubles initially hesitant queen tried to brush it off as nothing however after a few moments of silence she finally opened up to her mother 
sitting together on the couch in the living room. Queen poured her heart out, sharing everything about Victor, their relationship, and the impending distance due to his work in Lagos. Charity listened attentively, her eyes widening in surprise at first, but then softening with understanding and compassion. She reassured Queen that she was an adult capable of making her own decisions. Encouraging her daughter, Charity suggested inviting Victor over for dinner the next day to meet with her and discuss their relationship further. She also mentioned that Chief Omegu, Queen's father, had traveled and would be away for over two weeks, which eased Queen's worry about his reaction. Feeling grateful for her mother's support and guidance, Queen hugged her tightly, a smile spreading across both their faces. Later that night, Queen shared the news with Victor over the phone. They were relieved and happy that both sets of parents were aware and supportive of their relationship. Queen excitedly informed Victor about the dinner invitation, and although nervous, he trusted Queen's assurance and her parents would like him. At Victor's home, his mother, Uduak, sat beside him, expressing her pride and love for her son. She asked him about his intentions regarding Queen. Victor, with determination in his eyes, shared his desire to marry Queen after he was transferred back to Abuja in six months' time. He also expressed his wish to propose to Queen after meeting her parents tomorrow. The anticipation of the upcoming dinner filled both Queen and Victor with a mix of excitement and nervousness. They spent the evening exchanging messages, reassuring each other, and eagerly looking forward to the next day. As the sun rose, signaling the arrival of a new day, Queen busied herself with preparations for dinner. She wanted everything to be perfect for Victor's visit. Meanwhile, Victor couldn't shake off his nerves, but his love for Queen and his determination to make a good impression gave him the courage to face the evening ahead. The evening arrived, and Victor dressed neatly and carrying a banquet of flowers, made his way to Queen's home. Queen greeted him with a warm smile and welcomed him inside. The atmosphere was filled with anticipation and excitement as they sat down for dinner with charity. During the dinner conversation, Victor impressed charity with his polite manners, genuine personality, and his dedication to his career. Queen watched with a sense of pride and happiness as her mother and Victor engaged in friendly conversation, getting to know each other better. After dinner, as they sipped on tea and shared desserts, Queen's mother expressed her approval of Victor. She admired his values, his respect for Queen, and his ambitious yet grounded nature. Victor, grateful for the warm reception, thanked Charity for her kind words and hospitality. As the evening came to an end, Victor bid farewell to Queen and her mother, promising to visit again soon. Queen walked him to the door, feeling a surge of love and gratitude for her supportive family and her wonderful boyfriend. Back at his home, Victor shared the details of the dinner with Udrak, his mother. He expressed his happiness and relief that Queen's parents had accepted him warmly. Udrak, proud of her son's maturity and determination, encouraged him to continue nurturing his relationship with Queen. With hearts full of love, hope and determination, Queen and Victor looked forward to the future, knowing that they had the love and support of their families as they embarked on this beautiful journey together. Two days later, on a peaceful Wednesday evening after rock, Victor had a surprise plan for Queen. He had carefully chosen a beautiful ring, a symbol of his love and commitment, intending to propose to Queen. After a delightful dinner at a cozy restaurant, they engaged in meaningful conversations, 
reminiscing about their journey together and envisioning their future. As the evening progressed, Victor's heart swelled with love and determination. With a gentle smile, he knelt down before Queen, presenting the ring and pouring out his feelings. Queen, you mean the word to me. Will you marry me? He asked, his eyes reflecting love and hope. Queen's eyes widened in surprise, her heart fluttering with joy and excitement. Overwhelmed with emotion, she joyfully accepted the ring, tears of happiness glistering in her eyes. Yes, Victor, I will marry you, she exclaimed, her voice filled with love and certainty. They embraced each other, sealing their promise to stand by each other through thick and thin. The restaurant erupted in applause and cheers as the couple celebrated this significant moment in their journey of love. The following weekend, Victor traveled to Lagos to resume work at the tech company. Things were going smoothly for him and he felt optimistic about the future. His boss recognized his dedication and promised him a transfer to their headquarters in Abuja if he continued to excel in his role. Filled with determination and fought by his love for Queen, Victor dedicated himself wholeheartedly to his job. He worked diligently, striving to exceed expectations and prove himself capable of taking on greater responsibilities. Six months passed and Victor's efforts bore fruit. His boss commended his outstanding performance and kept his promise of transferring him to the headquarters in Abuja. Victor was excited, knowing that this move would bring him closer to Queen and their future together. With renewed hope and a clear goal in mind, Victor looked forward to the next chapter of his life. He was ready to embark on this new journey with Queen by his side, knowing that their love and commitment would guide them through any challenges they might face. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, Victor and Queen's love remained strong despite the distance. They kept in touch through regular phone calls and video chats, sharing their daily experiences, dreams and aspirations. Queen often expressed how much she missed Victor, and he reciprocated the same feelings, assuring her that his love and dedication was real. After six months of working diligently at the company in Lagos branch, Victor received exciting news. He was among the fortunate employees promoted and transferred to the headquarters in Abuja. This promotion brought him one step closer to marrying the love of his life, Queen. Overjoyed by his development, Victor eagerly shared the news with Queen and their families. Queen's family, treated by the impending union, started making preparations for the introduction ceremony. They welcomed Victor's message with warmth and excitement, eager to formally meet his family and celebrate the love shared between Victor and Queen. Similarly, Victor's family was filled with happiness and anticipation. They began coordinating with Queen's family arranging logistics and ensuring that everything would be perfect for the upcoming event. Both families shared sense of unity and joy, united by the bond between Victor and Queen. Victor and Queen, filled with love and anticipation for the future, eagerly looked forward to the next chapter of their lives. They dreamed of building a life together, supporting each other's dreams and facing life challenges hand in hand. As Victor settled into his new role at the company's headquarters in Abuja, his heart brimmed with joy and anticipation. Being closer to Queen and his family brought him immense happiness and a sense of completeness. He eagerly embraced his responsibilities, knowing that each day brought him closer to marrying the love of his life. With the wedding on the horizon, Victor and his mother Uduak began reaching out to their relatives for the traditional introduction ceremony. They contacted Victor's uncles who lived in the same city 
and one even traveled from their village to join them. Together, they made their way to Queen's parents' house, ready to officially introduce themselves as the groom's family. At Queen's home, a warm and welcoming atmosphere greeted Victor and his family. Queen's parents, Chief Omego and Madame Charity, received their in-laws with open arms, expressing their delight at the union of their families. Discussions about the wedding began, filled with excitement and anticipation. Both families quickly bonded, sharing stories, laughters, and traditions. They discussed wedding plans, agreeing to hold the ceremony in the next two months. The preparation kicked into high gear, with everyone pitching in to ensure a memorable and joyous celebration. Victor's mother and Queen's mother in particular formed a strong bond as they collaborated on various aspects of the wedding. They visited the market together, selecting fabrics, decoration and other essentials for the big day. Despite living far apart in the same city, they made time to connect and coordinate seamlessly. Occasionally, Queen's mother visited Victor's home, bringing gifts and sharing laughter with the family. These moments strengthened the bonds between the families, fostering a sense of unity and shared joy. As the wedding preparations unfolded smoothly, Victor and Queen's excitement grew. They eagerly anticipated the day when they would officially become husband and wife, surrounded by their loved ones and blessed by the union of their families. With love in their hearts and a bright future ahead, Victor and Queen's journey towards marriage continued, filled with hope, anticipation and the joy of building a life together. Two months of anticipation and preparation culminated in a beautiful day as the wedding approached. The church premises were adorned with beautiful flowers and decorations, creating a beautiful setting for the union of Victor and Queen. The bride and groom looked radiant and filled with happiness as they awaited the momentous ceremony. As the guests gathered and the excitement mounted, a sudden twist unfolded that no one expected. Just as Queen's father, Chief Omego, was leading his daughter down the aisle towards the altar, a commotion erupted as Victor's mother, Uduak, entered the church. Her eyes widened in disbelief as she looked up and saw Chief Omego, whom she recognized immediately. Is that not you, Chief Omego? Uduak exclaimed. Her voice filled with shock and surprise. All eyes turned toward her. Curious about the unfolding drama, Chief Omego, equally surprised, called out to Uduak, asking her why she was there and what was happening. Uduak, still trying to process the situation, managed to stammer out that Victor was her son. The revelation sent shockwaves through the congregation. Chief Omego's wife, Charity, rushed out, demanding an explanation for the confusion. Amidst the confusion and tension, Uduak blotted out the truth. Chief Omego here is Victor's father, she declared, her voice trembling with disbelief. The realization hit everyone like a thunderbolt, leaving them speechless and bewildered. Victor and Queen, the center of attention on their special day, we are stunned into silence. They couldn't comprehend how such a revelation could occur on their wedding day. How is that possible? How can we be siblings? They chorused, their voices filled with disbelief and confusion. The once joyous atmosphere now hung heavy with uncertainty and shock. The families, guests, and even the officiating clergy we are at a loss of words grappling with the unexpected turn of events. The wedding that was meant to be a celebration of love and union had suddenly turned into a moment of profound revelation and confusion. The future that Victor and Queen had envisioned together 
was now clouded with uncertainty and unanswered questions. As the realization sank in, the wedding came to an abrupt halt, leaving everyone to contemplate the shocking revelation and its implications on the future of Victor and Queen's relationship. Chief Omega, overwhelmed with shame and regret, lowered his head in sorrow as the truth unraveled before everyone's eyes. Queen, his daughter, cried out in confusion and pain, demanding an explanation from her father. With tears streaming down her cheeks, she pleaded, Daddy, what is happening here? Please explain. Taking a deep breath, Chief Omega gathered his thoughts and began to recount the painful truth. I had an affair, he confessed, his voice filled with remorse. It happened during a difficult time when your mother and I were struggling to have children. He turned to Charity, his wife, seeking forgiveness in her eyes. Charity, though shocked and hurt by the revelation, maintained her composure. She listened as Chief Omega continued his confession, revealing the depth of his pain and the mistakes he had made. I am a successful businessman, Chief Omega explained, but despite all my achievements, the one thing I longed for most was to give your mother the joy of motherhood. We were married for over eight years, and each year that passed without children weighed heavily on our hearts. He recounted how he had kept a facade of strength for charity, encouraging her to have faith and assuring her that their prayers would be answered. I thought I was doing the right thing, being her strength, Chief Omega admitted, but deep down, I was struggling with my own pain and feeling of inadequacy. As he spoke, the weight of his confession hung heavy in the air, Queen turned between her love for her father and the shock of the revelation, struggled to make sense of it all. The once joyous occasion of her wedding day had turned into a tumultuous sea of emotions and revelations. Charity, though hurt by the betrayer, showed grace and understanding. We've been through so much together, she said softly to Chief Omega. I understand your pain, but this doesn't change the love and bond we share. The guests, who had been witnesses to the unfolding drama, watched in silence, processing the unexpected turn of events. The wedding ceremony, which had come to a standstill, seemed like a distant memory as the family grappled with the aftermath of Chief Omega's confession. Chief Omega's confession continued delving deeper into the tumultuous period of infertility and family pressures that had plagued their lives. He recounted how as time passed and charity struggles to conceive continued, his family's treatment of her grew increasingly harsh. It became unbearable for charity, Chief Omega admitted with a heavy heart. My family started threatening her, blaming her for our inability to have children. They even went as far as to say that if anything happened to me without her bearing a child, they would hold her accountable and make her life miserable. He described how his own mother, in her frustration and impatience, would visit and belittle Charity, his wife, calling her names and questioning her words. She would call her a barren woman and tell her that she was just here spending her son's money, Chief Omega recounted his voice filled with regret. Despite the immense pressure and emotional turmoil, Charity remained steadfast and resilient. Chief Omega admired her strength and determination, acknowledging that she was the pillar of their relationship during those dark times. Charity is my rock, Chief Omega confessed. She stood by me and I stood by her, holding on to the hope that one day our prayers would be answered. And answered they were, as God blessed us with the miracle that we have longed for, a beautiful daughter. Queen here, my daughter, was an answered prayer, Chief Omega declared, his eyes filled with love and pride for his daughter. However, amidst the joy of Queen's birth, 
there was a shadow of betrayal that I, Chivomego, carried. It was during our marriage struggles I had sought solace in the arms of another woman. I had a girlfriend outside our marriage. He admitted, his voice filled with remorse. It was a mistake, one that I deeply regret. It was the pressure from my family members that made me do what I did. Chief Omega confessed that the relationship with the other woman had ended after two years, but he had been unaware that she had borne him a child. It was only during the chaos of the wedding that Udwak, the woman he had an affair with, revealed the truth. Udwak, moved by the unfolding drama, spoke up for the first time. I never wanted to bring trouble to your family, she said to Chief Omigo. I raised our child on my own, without bothering you or causing problems in your marriage. Charity, devastated by the revelation, stood up in anger and left the church with her daughter, Queen. The congregation, witnessing the unraveling of secrets and emotions, began to disperse, leaving the church in a state of chaos and confusion. And the wedding that was meant to be a celebration of love and union ended in a turmoil and heartache. Chief Omega, burdened by his past mistakes and the consequences they had brought, stood alone in the church, grappling with the shattered dreams and the painful truths that had been laid bare. After the chaotic event at the wedding, Chief Omega returned home to a somber atmosphere. His wife, Charity, sat quietly with their daughter, Queen, both still reeling from the shocking revelations. Chief Omega's heart was heavy with regret as he realized the pain he had caused his family. He knew that words alone couldn't undo the hurt, but he had to try. Daddy, why? Queen's voice trembled with emotion as she looked at her father, searching for answers. Queen Omega knelt before his family, his eyes filled with tears. I am so sorry, my wife and my daughter, he began, his voice choked with emotion. I made a terrible mistake, and I beg for your forgiveness. I betrayed your trust, and I know I have hurt you deeply. Charity's eyes were red from crying, but there was a flicker of understanding in her gaze. Omega, I never thought this would happen, she whispered, her voice filled with pain. But we've been through so much together. We'll find a way to heal. For the sake of this family and our daughter. With a heavy heart, Chief Omega and Charity embraced. Their love and bond tested but still holding strong. Queen, though hot and confused, found solace in the love that surrounded her, knowing that her parents were trying to mend their relationship. Meanwhile, at Victor's house, the atmosphere was equally heavy with emotion. Victor sat with his mother, Udwak, and other family members, trying to come to terms with the shocking revelation. How could this happen? Victor's voice was filled with anguish as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Udwak, his mother, looked at him with tears in her eyes. I never wanted to burden you like this, my son. She said softly, I raised you with love and care, hoping to shield you from the pain of my past. Victor turned between his love for Queen and the upheaval in his family, tried to find understanding. I can't blame you, Mom, he said, his voice breaking. You've sacrificed so much for me. We will get through this together. The family gathered offering words of comfort and support to each other in their time of need. Despite the shock and pain, there was a glimmer of hope as they resolved to face the challenges ahead as a united family. As the night wore on, conversations turned to plans for the future and how to navigate the complexities of their newfound family dynamics. It was a journey filled with uncertainties but they were determined to face it with courage and resilience. On a peaceful morning, Victor and his mother Uduak 
we are surprised to find Queen and her parents at their doorstep. It was a moment of tension and uncertainty, but also a moment of opportunity for healing and reconciliation. The air was thick with emotion as the two families sat down to talk. Chief Omego, still carrying the weight of his past mistakes, took a deep breath and knelt before Uduak and Victor. I am deeply sorry for the pain I've caused you both, he said, his voice filled with remorse. I beg for your forgiveness. Uduak, her eyes reflecting a mist of sadness and understanding, looked at Chief Omego. It's not easy, but I choose to forgive, she said. Her voice steady but filled with emotion. Let's focus on moving forward together. Victor turned between conflicting emotion, listened to the conversation around him. He looked at Queen, his beloved, and realized that their bond was stronger than any revelation. Queen, he said softly, we may be siblings by blood, but we are also best friends by heart. Let's embrace this new chapter in our lives together. Tears flowed freely as Victor and Queen hugged each other, their hearts filled with love and acceptance. They promised to support each other no matter what challenges they faced, knowing that their bond was unbreakable. The parents, witnessing their heartfelt moment, felt a sense of relief and hope. They realized that family isn't just about blood relations, but also about the love, understanding, and forgiveness that binds hearts together. Lessons echoed through the air, teaching the importance of forgiveness, communication, and acceptance. The story highlighted that mistakes can be made, but true strength lies in acknowledging them, seeking forgiveness, and working towards a brighter future together. And so, the families that once faced turmoil and heartache now stood united, stronger than ever. They learned that love conquers all, and that no obstacle is insurmountable when faced with understanding and compassion. As the sun set on that memorable day, Laughter and joy filled the air as the families shared a meal together, celebrating their newfound unity and the power of love to mend even the deepest wounds. And with that, the story of Victor, Queen, their families, and the journey of forgiveness and reconciliation came to a close. A tale of hope, redemption, and the enduring bonds of family. And with that, my dear friends, our story comes to a close. But remember the magic of storytelling lives on, waiting to whisk us away on new adventures where the wonders of imagination know no bounds. Goodbye for now. And may your dreams be filled with joy, wonder, and endless possibility. Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly comment, share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting stories.